Hello everyone. I'm going to play some Banjo-Kazooie today, as you can see. One of my favourite games of all time. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best platform games of all time. When everyone else is playing Mario 64, this was my jam. Uh, and not to take away from Mario 64, that game is incredible, but I think Banjo is better. For those of you out there that played Banjo before, you're probably thinking, the music doesn't sound right. And yeah, you'd be right. This isn't the Banjo that we all know. This is something very different. I haven't played this yet. I'm crazy excited. Let's see what's different about it. Whew. This is Banjo-Kazooie, the Bear Waker. <laughs> it's a mod that's been lovingly crafted to put Banjo-Kazooie into the world of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, also one of my favourite games of all time. <laughs> this is like a full-on fanboy geek out right now, this is mind-blowing. It's a fully playable game from what I understand, there's things to collect, there's things to do. Yeah, let's have a look. Already it's great, it's, it's voiced properly. I say voiced. Uh -huh. Oh man, so good. Okay. <gasps> this is basically Banjo 3. Oh my god. I'm playing on an Xbox controller as well, so like it's a little bit odd, but it's it's probably the nicest way to play. Um, just to remember that the uh, controls are inverted for camera. Oh, this is perfect. Ah! Oh, whoa! Don't eat me! I'm rusty. I'm clearly rusty. Oh, it's the music is perfect as well. Just getting such Zelda vibes, but obviously, this is Banjo. I'm just fully blown away by the level of detail involved in this. Uh, the gent that made the mod uh, is a guy called Mark Kirko. Um, Kirko Mods. Um, as I say, he's, he's made this completely free for anyone to play. It will run on most emulators. Um, I'm using Project 64 on my PC. Um, but it will run on an original N64 if you have the right tools. You've got to put some money in to get this to work if you want it on N64, but it can be done. And that is just mind blowing in itself. Look at it! It's just a perfect kind of N64 era recreation of Wind Waker Island. Because Wind Waker was never on N64, it's a GameCube game, but it's N64. Now let's see what the. Uh... I imagine there must be an actual kind of quest line. Let's find out what we're supposed to be doing. This is so good. Like it's, it's got all the noises, and it's not a lazy mod at all. Like so much care has gone into this. This is my day sorted. I've got a day off today, so I basically have Banjo Three right now. So sorted. The game that Rare never gave me. I live in hope, one day, and that's not to, you know, that's not to speak ill of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and that, even that's being mean, like, Nuts and Bolts, <sighs> as much as it hurts me to say, Nuts and Bolts wasn't a bad game at all, it's a good game, like, it just isn't Banjo, in a lot of ways it kind of paved the way for that kind of Minecraft, build everything you want type of game, so, gotta respect it, but it wasn't badger. Oh god. Well, that's one way to get past. It's like a nostalgia. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna kill the other one now. Now that I know it can be done. I'm going back for him. Oh, that didn't go to plan. It's just not working for me right now. Oh, 
Damn it! Oh, shut up, Granny. She's still rhyming, so that's uh, authentic as well. This could be huge. I mean, it's running really smooth as well, considering it's a mod and you know, emulators um, aren't always the smoothest um, things in the world. This is this is running really well. I just can't get over the fact that Wind Waker never existed on the N64. So this this gentleman has rebuilt this. I can only assume that's how he did it. I'm not sure if he's got a video up on his channel. He's got a YouTube channel, and again, I'll link it. Um, I don't think he's, he's put a video up of how, just how he did this. I'd like to know how. Because uh, my only guess is like just voodoo magic. Because I can't figure out how you, you could do this. So impressive. So impressive. Also, you see that I've moved myself today. I now live in the top corner. So that's, that's fun. Uh, only reason I've done it really is so you can see more of the game. If I'm down the bottom corner, it just eats into quite a lot of the screen space. Oh, chest. Uh. Oh. Here oh, come, I miss Banjo, man. I, I know he's coming to Smash, and that is just the coolest thing, but. Just give me another fully fledged banjo game. Give me this. I've got this, but you know, give me more of this. Just give me loads of this. Oh, here we go. Don't need him, but why not? Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Please. I can't remember getting chased by the bear, uh, by the bees. Ah. Oh, hello. Bees, go away! Oh, I can't get rid of the bees! Ah, this is it. I'm out of here. Oh, thank God they've gone. They're back! Oh, God! I honestly do not remember bees killing you if you break open those little honey containers. Years of banjo playing trained me for this kind of this kind of thing. Here we go. I don't get through that. Hmm. Three eggs. That's what it took. If in doubt, shoot some eggs at it. Oh my god, it's like a, oh. it's a proper banjo game. This is so good. This is so, so good. I think, and obviously this isn't this isn't banjo proper, it isn't banjo kazooie or banjo tooie. But like I think banjo is one of the only games where from my childhood that has aged quite well. It's still really playable. Like I've got the Rare Replay collection on the Xbox. And this game holds up. It's, it's, oh, I say this game. I keep saying this game because this feels so authentic. Um, but Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie uh, both hold up really well. I would gladly pay for the Banjo games. And to be fair, the entire uh, Rare Replay collection on, uh, on Switch. I think it would lend itself perfectly. I mean, Banjo on the go. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Come, come, come. Oh. Come on. I need all these notes. I have a feeling, and I, I might shoot myself in the foot here, it might not be right, but I have a feeling there is going to be like a banjo resurgence soon. With the overwhelming uh, positive reaction to him being added to Smash, and then projects like this, there seems to be a lot of banjo love flying around right now, so uh, fingers crossed. Rare will get the message and uh, we will soon have a fully fledged Banjo 3. And if they call it Banjo 3, I will respect them even more. Oh. 
I need the jiggy. Oh, I need the jiggy. Let me get the jiggy. Oh, it still plays the music. Oh, these ghosts need to just leave me alone. I wonder how many jiggies there are to collect in this. I mean, are there any games like you had when you were young and they just haven't aged well? I actually thought about um, doing a whole series on it and just kind of playing uh, retro stuff uh, and then putting them through the paces today and kind of comparing them to how games have evolved and how games have changed. Because sometimes I think it's best to leave those old games in the past because they are they're peppered with nostalgia and um, you connect childhood memories to them. So things like GoldenEye and Mario Kart, I love because I have memories of playing them with friends as a, as a child. I think Mario Kart obviously has evolved and changed and it's still still kind of fairly um, fairly current. But GoldenEye, don't try play that now. It is, it is not good. <laughs> it's, uh, it's janky, it's rough around the edges. It's uh, yeah, not, uh, not, not fantastic. Something I played recently that everyone holds in really high regard, um, and I played it again just to test the waters, is uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. And that has aged actually really well. Um, it, it's still a great game. I, it, it deserves a sequel, or it deserves it deserves something, you know. It deserves a, a remaster or a sequel, because that game is so good. And they made Simpsons games since, but uh, nowhere near as good as that one. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker was another controversial one. People reacted so badly when that was announced, just due to the art style, but easily one of my favourite Zelda games. Just so much, uh... Oh, I'm still a way off. So much, uh... Creativity in the art style, and so much, uh... Expression on Link's face. Just, yeah, an absolutely fantastic game. Oh. Oh. oh! I don't know how I pulled that off. That was a complete fluke. Uh, I'll take it though. Alright, I really want that. I really want that ginger. Let's go for it. Yep. Yeah! Oh! Okay, I can break doors and I can go in houses. There he is. How you go, mate? You are. Fifteen Mumbo's magic tokens hidden. Find only ten. Mumbo. Fifteen? Bring me. Okay, I will. But as we all know, there's always notes at the top of Mumbo's shack. Hey! Cheers, Mumbo. I will be back when I have found all the bits that you need. Oh, this is so cool. There's a Game Boy up there. I can see it. Is that Game Boy? There it is. Link's Awakening. I'm super excited for that. That's out in, like, just over a month. Woo! It's gonna be good! There we go. Kirko Mods. That is a gentleman that's made this. Honestly, check him out. I'll put a link in the uh, description, but yeah, seriously cool. The love that he has for Banjo rivals my own. Oh, look at the attention to detail! <laughs> there it is! Oh, so good. The nostalgia, man. It's, just, it's killing me right now. That game was my childhood. Banjo was my childhood. I feel like a, a young boy again. What's that under there? Oi! Oi, you! 
less of that, please. And there's Banjo Kazooie right there. Is that meant to be like Conker? <laughs> I think that's Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie and the Jiggies of Time. Ah, yeah. So Kirko Mods is also putting together a Banjo Kazooie Ocarina of Time crossover. And um, there's a demo that can be played at the moment. I might play that too. Um, but it's not full release just yet, but he's, he's working on it. Aha! Here we go, making some progress! Yes! Okay, well, let's go get some other things while I'm flying. Oh, this is... Where has this game been all my life? This is so perfect. I'm in awe right now. Oh. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I died. Uh... Oh, I've lost all my notes! No! Oh! Oh! Damn it! That did something alright. That definitely did something. Okay. This is so, like, hard and quite puzzly. Um, Banjo is always a little bit harder, though, than most platformers, so. It was for me, anyway. Hello? Is that? Oh, I'm gonna have to. Okay. Where the hell am I now? Ants! Oh, it wants, just wants one jiggy. I've got one jiggy. Use the jiggies to unlock new areas in the island. Numbers in the corners are the jiggies you need. I just need one. Press A on the jiggy podium if you do. Oh, no, I'm, I'm pressing A. What have I done? Yes! Ah! Progress! Ooh, I was stuck for a little while there, but I've uh, pulled it back around. And I get another jiggy! I love banjo music so much, it is just the best. What is up here? Okay. That's the way back to the house. Good. Oh, all these delicious notes. Mario 64. Lovely. Bowser picture on that side as well. I'm pretty sure it's Bowser. Anyway. Yeah, there he is. Okay. What's in the house? No worries. More notes. Is that map? Is that Wind Waker map. I think that's the Wind Waker map. I'm not 100% sure. Some more N64 magazines there. Take me back. Back to when people bought 
physical magazines. I used to, I used to love them. It's a lot of Wind Waker. Ah, oh, Golden Eye, 007, 64 magazine. Here we go. <laughs> Not quite a uh, master sword, but uh, it's, uh, I'll take it. It'll get me into small spaces, and that's all I really need. <laughs> okay, now I need to remember all the small spaces I need to get into. Hello. Eight. I swear there's a ginger down there. Yes! Alright, got six jiggies. Oh, making some serious progress. I read some health for now. Because I'm not. I'm not doing all right health-wise. See how do we how do we beat this boss? How do you suppose we beat this boss? There's eggs all around, so I can only assume it's eggs. Jiggies inside here. He's too small a box now. Oh, this is easy. I'm gonna run out of eggs though. Oh dear. Okay, so I can jump into it. That's much easier. <laughs> ah. Oh no, don't walk into those guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Please, boxes! Oh yeah, come on! Come on! Oh man! Okay, I've got eight! Hope, 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 hope. That's enough to get me into the um, into the bit down there. Oh no! Seven. Just press Z. Oh, I need one more piece! I need one more! Oh, no! Okay, so it's right by the grass. Right by the grass, near the log, in between the two trees. Here. for that. Okay. Ah. Okay, so. Hopefully you have to be so precise with where you land that hit. The hitbox must be really small for getting that. Woo! Alright, okay. Let's get that last. 
that hopefully that last jiggy and then I can go and save Link. Yeah. Come on! Alright. Let's do this. Turn back into a pumpkin. Let's do it. Open the oh, I opened the door to his house. I'm going in. I am going in. I'm going to turn back into Banjo first. I don't want to meet Link as a pumpkin. That just, uh, that's just not right. Oh. God, it's taken about two hours to get to this point. I've loved it. I've loved every second of it, but this is like, it's been genuinely challenging. Which is great. Oh, there he is. He's asleep because he's always asleep. I've got to look at the finer details before I wake him up. There they are, having their happy little life. It's just dawned on me as well. Like, obviously Wind Waker was called Wind Waker. I didn't realise why this is called Bear Waker. Because the whole point of it is going to be to, to wake him up. Get up there! Oh, the jiggies as well. Yeah, take a bow, mate. Take a bow. You deserve it. So yeah, the whole point of this is to uh, wake Link up. So I guess he can start his uh, journey. That's cool! Cool little throwback. All this work for this. <laughs> we'll meet again in Smash Bros. Yes, we will. That's a thank you for playing. Thanks for playing. Oh, that is the end of Banjo Kazooie: The Bear Waker. That is one of the coolest mods I've ever played. So much love and care has gone into that. You can tell that um, that Kirko has really kind of poured his heart and soul into making this and making it so authentic to both worlds, to Zelda and to Banjo. And he's pulled it off beautifully. Um, it was about an hour and a half, two hours of gameplay. Depends how uh, how good you are. I got stuck loads. I wasn't very good. The jiggies were kind of really difficult to find. Um, and that kind of blends into what I'm saying. It's very authentic to the original Banjo games. Kind of, They weren't easy. Um, they were tough for kids games. You really have to think about it. Um, yeah, I've got a huge amount of respect for this guy. This is incredible. Um, hats off to you, mate. This is fantastic. Um, I urge everyone who's a fan of old school platformers, download it. Um, I say I'll put a link in the YouTube description. It is free. Completely free. You can play on an emulator. If your phone is good enough, it will play on your phone. Just give it a go. Um, it's uh, yeah, something pretty special. Even if you just chuck it on for 5-10 minutes just to run around um, Outlook Island as Banjo, that's enough. It was enough for me, but I wanted to pursue and, and keep pushing through and complete the game because I've got a lot of love for it and I respect this mod. This guy, uh, Mark Kirko, is putting in a lot of work here and you can really tell. Um, so please check him out. Subscribe to his channel as well. Again, I'll put a little link. Um, the game has crashed just now, but that's fine. It got me through to the end. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye-bye.